the 67 unique substrings in wraparound string. Yeah, let me first explain this question. So we are having a red around the string. So it's going to be something like A, B, C, D, E until to Z and to A and until A, B, C, D until to Z. And this will be unlimited. It means this kind of wrap around the string will be unlimited. We don't know how long it is. Yeah. And let's check the length of the string S. So S is 10 to the power of 5. So it means this string must be more than 10 to the power of 5, but it does matter. It has no influence for us to solve the problem. Yeah. And also, we need to return the number of unique non-empty substrings of S, which are present in base. So we're going to check the substrings of S, which present in the base. So this is the base. So for the first example, for this A, uh, it appeared once and it, it has one time. And for this C, C, so for this C, it appeared one time, and for this A, it appeared one time. But this C is a duplicate, so we will not count it. So there are only two times. And the C A is not inside. Yeah, because normally A, B, C is inside, but C A is not inside. And let's check this example. Z inside, A, B inside, and Z, A inside, A, B inside, and also Z, A, B inside. As you can see, this is Z, A, B inside, yeah. So, we can solve this problem by list groups. We can list all the groups. If something like Z, A, B, we're going to list it in a group. But, we need to consider the duplicate. So, for this example, yeah. We need to really consider about this duplicate. So, if we have a... Uh, Z A B, so it's gonna have uh, six times, yeah. But what if uh, there is a duplicate? How should we um, deal with the duplicate? If we check one by one, use a set, it will be time limit exceeded, because there may be, yeah, too many duplicate. It will be O N square to check if you put it inside a set. Yeah, we have to use some clever ways to solve the problem. Yeah. So for example, this is this is like Z. Z A B, or maybe there is a Z A B uh, C D, yeah, you know, uh, for Z A B, and another is Z A B C D. So how are you gonna count it? Yeah, so for example, if you call it from here, Z A B C D, there are five characters, so five times four divided by two, in total there are ten. But why are you counting this area, Z A B? It has already been, it, it has a duplicate. But we need to solve, we need to avoid the duplicate. How can we avoid the duplicate? We can use some greedy ideas to avoid the duplicate. We can just check what is the longest substring sub which are add up with a character D, for example. So for Z, A, B, C, D, which is add with D, there are five characters. Yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe I need another example, maybe another A, B, C, D, yeah. So there is another D. So this string, which add with D, how many characters? A, B, C, D, there are only four characters. But we are going to choose the longest substring, which is add with D. So for this one, Z, A, B, C, D, add with D, there are five characters. So we are going to choose the five characters substring, because this Z A B C D will include A B C D. It can avoid the duplicate. And similarly, for all the characters, we are going to solve like this. If it is add up with Z, we are going to check how many characters add up with Z. What is the longest uh, substring add up with Z? There's only one because this Z. Yeah. What What about A? And for A, there are two characters Z A. Yeah. And we cannot find others. Here is also ZA, but there are two characters. What about uh, C? Yeah, for C, there are three, four characters. As you can see, ZABC, and here ABC only three, but we're gonna choose four characters. We're gonna choose all the 26 characters. So, in this way, we're gonna use a counter or dictionary to solve the problem. It's gonna be easier to solve. So this is a, the greedy idea. We are still going to list all the groups, but
but we are going to use a dictionary. Yeah. Now let's try to solve it. So, uh, we are going to write the list groups uh, template. So I, we are going to start from the index zero while I less than the length of the string. We're gonna prepare a start equal to I and Z should equal to a start plus one. Because we are going to check the next characters, for example, next character is A. If A can be connected with Z, yes, it can. So we're going to use some mathematic skills to connect Z and A, or A and B. It, it can always be connected, make a group. Yeah. Now we are going to check the Z. From the index Z, if this is less than the length of the string, and we're going to use some mathematical skills, so it's going to be odd with uh, S and Z. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be odd S and Z. Odd S and Z uh, minus uh, odd S and Z minus 1. Yeah, let me just copy it to avoid making mistakes. 2 minus the odd S and Z minus 1. Yeah, why I used brackets? I don't need it, the square brackets. Yeah, here I don't need it. Yeah, so while odd s j minus odd s j minus 1, the characters before it equal to 1, or it is equal to minus 25. Because odd a minus odd z, like this example, it will be minus 25. So we just need to copy it, while it equal to minus 25, it means z would plus 1. Yeah, so the z would plus equal to 1. Now we are going to list the groups, but how can we put it uh, inside? So we're going to use a, a counter, so we're going to prepare a counter. At the same time, I'm going to prepare a result. Uh, I don't need a result, but I need a, a counter. So I will use say. Uh, I will use D as my counter. So D would be the counter. Yeah. Now I want to put it inside the counter, so I can check it. So from here. Mm, so for the counter inside. It's gonna be uh, the odd s and z minus one. Yeah, because here z already plus one, so I need a uh, z minus one. So for example, this is z and uh, this is a. This z already plus one. If this is z less than length of the string and uh, uh, odd of s j minus odd s j minus one equal to one, but here is equal to minus twenty five. It's it's the same, yeah. So this j would plus one. J would plus one. So j goes to b, yeah. But I would to put z a inside the dictionary. I would uh, put the a inside the dictionary. So I need to use the odd of s j minus one. You need to think about. It. Yeah, you need to, if you are familiar with the list groups template, you need to think about it, why, why here I need a sz minus 1, because I need to put the characters, which is add with a, inside of the dictionary. Yeah. So, this one going to be the maximum of this one. Itself, uh, with the Uh, with z minus start. Yeah, because this z will be moved to index 2. 2 minus 0 is going to be 2. This 2 means za, the length of the string, it is za. And this dictionary means the k is a character a. So here is some tricks you need to think about it. Yeah. Now, the i should be equal to z. It's going to be the same for the list groups. Finally, we need to Check the sum of d dot values, but we need also to consider if there's only one character. For example, this is z. 
So we need to copy this line to here. If start equal to i, yeah, we need to consider there's only one character. So here would be odd s start, and here gonna be the same. Odd start, maximum of this start with 1, because we are not sure if it is add with a, it is 1, or it can be longer, maybe it is a 2. So here, yeah, we're gonna use the maximum of d odd s start with 1. Yeah, so this is the entire code. The basic idea is, we just need to check what is the longest substring with the add of each characters like A, B, C, D. If it is add with A, what is the longest? If it is add with C, what is the longest? So this is the greedy idea. It's really hard to think about it, how to solve it. You have to practice a lot. And the time complexity for this problem is O, N, because it is just a list group. Yeah. But inside, we're going to use some dictionary. And this dictionary is the greedy idea to solve it in O, N time. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Uh, let me just submit it to prove it uh, really works. Thank you. See you next time.